Hello guys and welcome to Trace Team. If you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button so you guys don't miss none of the videos that I post. Today's video, Kayla McEnany puts this lefty in check after he tries to demolish Trump's character. Check this video out. The president a fair chance. You would have heard him condemn anti-Semitism. I have his exact quote from the first time he was asked, asked this question. He said, I want peace in this country. I want to stop crime and long simmering racism. That sounds like a condemnation to me. But some people on the left are using the veil, the veil of anti-Semitism and the charge of anti-Semitism to further their own political causes. It's dangerous. I agree with Alan Dershowitz fully that we should not be used, loosely throwing this term around. And I, I've got to ask you straight on, so you think the president does not like Jews and is pre prejudiced against Jews. You think that about the president of the United States? You bet. And do you know why? Wow. And wow is right, Kaylee. Do you know why? Does he hate his daughter? You, does he hate you his know son? What, Kaylee? Kaylee? You know what, Kaylee? I am tired of commentators like you from the right trotting out his daughter, trotting out his son-in-law as talking points against the president's anti-Semitism. They are Jewish, you, but that is not a talking point against anti-Semitism. And that is a disgrace. Let's, let's dissect have your statement. You, have you no, Listen, you, have you no ethics <clears throat> than to invoke, a, and to invoke people's religion as a talking point? Let's make this a dialogue. That itself is okay. anti-Semitic. Let's Go make ahead, this a dialogue then. instead of a monologue. Mm -hmm. Do you think the president dislikes his daughter? Okay. You know, answer the question. You, you know answer, because you said I, he doesn't like Jews and his I'm under no obligation to answer a curveball question. Because you can't Be answer the question. Because it's a nonsensical answer. question based on nothing. There is a flaw in your logical reasoning. Oh, you you told me that the first thing you said is the president dislikes Jews. The second thing you said when I no, asked, does Kaylee. he dislike his daughter? You, you know said, what? I don't Kaylee. have to answer Kaylee. that question. That's very nice. There's a flaw That's very in your nice reasoning. for Breitbart and News, you but are not using, for CNN. You, you are, are using, using fake news arguments. Shame on you. You are using Because you just didn't watch what was on there. He responded you, about the electoral isn't it college. True, though, Kaylee, I mean, putting aside just your immediate yes. discussion here, but it is true that when someone is close to somebody, they can see them differently as they see others. Mm -hmm. They can see others as another, and they can see a person, well, you are this, but it doesn't matter. When yeah. it comes, I mean, if you look at what happens throughout history, that's certainly been true with anti-Semitism yes. and many other sure. things. Well, well, he stood next to the Prime Minister of Israel who said, I've known this man my whole life, essentially, Donald Trump, and mm -hmm. he is the greatest defender of the Jewish people I know. And I think it's very sad that we have liberal commentators, Steve in particular, who is using charges, vile charges, like anti-Semitism oh, oh, and racism, even... with no evidence yeah, behind it. Right. So, as you guys can see, I think he has some of the TDS juice, <laughs> as you guys know exactly what that means. But I love how Kaylee was just completely laying it down on him, letting him know she stands her ground, she stands for what she believes in. She's just completely letting him know that he cannot run over her. Guys, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. That'll be a wrap today's video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.